Korean national students matter. I am tired. I am so tired of being treated like here. I always rave about how good Australia is and everything, and I truly do believe that Australia is a really good country for international students to come here and study. But I am so sick and tired of universities treating us like cash cows. We are not just our money. We are actual students who want to learn. So when we face problems, I expect a solution and not just weeks of waiting and like, I don't even know if I can graduate now because like there's something going on with my course planner and I can't figure it out because I cannot book a freaking appointment. It is that stress well and this is not a stress that I deserve to be stressing about. And internships. Oh my god. I get it that, you know, in a country you gotta prioritize your own citizens first. I get it. I totally, totally get it. But... I would really, really appreciate it if you could just say like, oh, this is looking for like local students clear on your job application because I do not want to spend an hour trying to like write my resume and write my cover letter only for me to submit and never hear back because I hear from someone else that, oh, actually. Okay, folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. Do better. International Student Blast Australia's in, in university system in a wild rat. So, international student living in Melbourne has slammed Australia's university system in a scathing rant that exposes some of the biggest flaws in tertiary education. Jamie Wu may adore Australia, but however, she doesn't feel the love in return when it comes to being an international student in the country. In a fiery TikTok video, the young Melbourne University student who left her home country of Singapore to stay in Victoria's capital on a visa, blasted the education system for relying on international students for money. Well, that's no surprise. International students matter. The commerce undergraduate said while trumping her fist on the table, I always rave about how good Australia is. I truly believe that Australia is really a good country for international students, but I'm so sick of and tired of university treating us like cash cows. Well, good point. Miss um, Wu forked out, out up to $25,000 per semester for her bachelor's degree, which according to the university website can take between three to six years to complete depending on the level of study. According to the Australian Bureau of Statistics, about 29 1,600 international students arrived in Australia between March and March 2022 and March 2023 to participate in higher education. Consequently, such interest has contributed uh, 29 billion to the Australian uh, economy. With this figure, including the 3.5 billion made from international students participating in Australian courses online. Okay, well. There's some happy snaps from her. An analyst by Kerry Razmier, um, the managing director of uh, data analytics firm Study Move, found five Australian universities increased their fees for international students by more than 4% last year, while 15 other universities have increased their fees by 2 to 4%. Uh, additionally, he found also found the fees for international students grew more expensive depending on where the university is placed on the QS World University Ranking Scale, the financial, the Australian Financial Review reports. Um, such statistic angers um, Ms. Wu, who exclaimed those coming to Australia to learn are worth more than just their money. We are actual students who want to learn, so we, when we face problems, I expect a solution, not just weeks of waiting, she said. A race against time. The problems Miss Wu um, raised include not knowing where she could graduate due to not scoring um, an internship required for her degree and interp interruption to her course schedule. She feared that a delay in both areas would see her visa expiring before she had a chance to graduate. I get it that in a country you had to prioritize your citizens first, but I would clearly appreciate if you could, uh, specifically just looking for local students clearly on your job application, she said. Ms. Wu explained this simple indicator that will prevent international students from wasting hours on job application only to never hear back due to not filling a criteria. Another issue the young student highlighted is insufficient 
uh, pay international students receive when working in casual or part-time job. So many international students are getting ripped off and a lot of them don't complain because they are in need of that cash, she said. Miss Wu complained, explained she could go to the authorities and address her concern, but however, she felt she would be overlooked and rather ended the video by calling on the show to do better. Okay. An all too common experience. Unfortunately, Miss Wu's experience is known too well in the international students community, with non permanent residents who committed on Compton on her post sharing that they were in the same boat. Worst part is your job interviews, you give job interviews and everything say everything and they'll be like, Oh yeah, you're an international student, sorry, this world is for citizens and permanent residents only, one person shared. I to agree you totally with you. My story even worse. After so many degrees, so many experiences, now I'm I'm working in a contact center. I don't know what to do. A second person commented. Another person said, University offered trips and paid internship to citizens only. We don't even get a chance to at least apply. Even after paying five times more tuition fees. Oh gosh. Yike um Sultanaporn, um the president of the Council of International Students Australia, also backed Miss Wu claim. An international student, you already have the disadvantage of not being seen to have any Australian experience, she told Yahoo. You will see um, a large majority of international students volunteering at university. The whole reason behind that is that because we understand to be considered, we need to have perfect grades, perfect volunteering perfect experience everything needs to be a tick box miss solon um, added that international students aren't always considered um for internships due to the perception that companies don't want to train staff only for them to later leave and return to their home country they never say that only high local students opening because they don't want to get the Back, that backlash. So work prices are just negotiating international students is a big struggle. International students can seek support with their studies and university experience through the um, CISA, which aims to give them a voice and advocate for their rights. Anyway, folks, what do you reckon? Do you reckon um, being an international student in Australia is tough? Let your thoughts know in the comments section. Anyway, have a good day.